Here's another example of adding fractions. Remember, adding and subtracting are those fraction twins that before you can perform those operations, you have to have the same denominator. You have to have the same pair of pants. You have to have the same bottom part of the fraction. So we have to find that common pair of pants, that common denominator for the two denominators, 10 and 12. And remember the process that I demonstrated for you in an earlier video. The way you find that common denominator is to take the product of the two denominators and divide by the greatest common factor. Well, the largest factor that 10 and 12 share is 2. 10 times 12 is 120. 120 divided by 2 is 60. Our common denominator then for these two fractions before we can add them is 60. Again, we, we can't just bring down the 3 and bring down the 7 because then we would be saying that 3 tenths was the same as 3 sixtieths. And that doesn't make any sense at all. We know that's not true. Those aren't the same quantities. We have to build those fractions up. And we do that by looking at the number that we multiply times the original denominator to make the common denominator. In this case, that would be 6. 6 times 10 makes 60. So we have to multiply the numerator by that same quantity. 6 times 3 is 18. For this fraction, 5 times 12 makes 60. So I must multiply the numerator by 5 as well. 5 times 7 is 35. Now these are equivalent fractions. And I think we can see that. You could reduce 18 sixtieths, it would reduce to 3 tenths. If you reduce 35 sixtieths, it would reduce to 7 twelfths. They are expressing the same quantity. Now we can add them because they are fractions with the same denominator. When you add fractions, the answer will have that same common denominator, in this case 60. And now we simply add the numerators. 18 plus 35 is 53. And the last thing we would do then is try to reduce that answer. Can we find a common factor we can divide out of each of those numbers? And in this case, there is no common factor we can divide out of each of those numbers other than one. And we have our solution to this addition problem.